Hello and welcome to this quick screencast on MTEX. I would like to show you three system variables that I find handy when using the multi-line text command. First of all, when using multi-line text on the annotate tab in the ribbon, you can select multi-line text right there under the text panel. You can actually change different settings of the multi-line text via that panel as well. By selecting that, I just hit that and I can type in my text, my AutoCAD drawing and hit OK. First variable I'd like to show you is MTEX toolbar. Right here down on the bottom and I'm going to select that to zero. This is the default for AutoCAD. It is set to zero. When I double click it, the contextual ribbon shows up. If I select the MTEX toolbar to one, you'll get the MTEX bounding box as shown up on the top. I prefer this you can do some quick text editing, but the contextual ribbon is very, very handy as well. But that's one system variable. I'm going to change a view and go to another system variable. So if I zoom extents, now if I double click my text, you'll see that it remains small. I cannot see what I'm editing. There's where a variable comes into play where it's called mText fixed. mText fixed. And I'm going to set it to two. And watch what happens. Remember before when I double clicked it, all that happened was it stayed there. Now when I select it, AutoCAD will zoom to the extents of the screen, giving me the ability to read that piece of text on that variable. So that's the M text fixed. I'm going to do view, hit it, set current, and hit OK. And this shows you a little bit about the system variable. Setting it to 0 or 1 will leave it in place, and setting it to 2 will actually will actually keep it you know, zoomed in so you have it on your drawing like that. The next system variable I'd like to show you is called empty jig string. So I'm going to move over here. And when you see when I type multi-line text at the command prompt, there really is nothing to show. I'm just typing a piece of text. So I'm going to type, this one is sort of fun, empty jig string. And I'm going to type CAD Pro Tips in the entry there. Now, every time I select that multi-line text, you'll notice CAD Pro Tips is my default showing up just like that. It's just a visual representation of the example of the font that you're using within Autodesk AutoCAD. So those are three system variables using mText. The mText toolbar, setting it to one, will display it above the text. mText fixed, setting it to two, will zoom text to a larger area so you can see it. And the, finally, the MG, MJIG string will set your variable on the multi-line text line to whatever your specifications may be. Thank you.